All right, everyone, I've uh, made my selections. I'm going to go through them right now. Um, well, I guess the best way to do it is just do it. So I'll go one at a time. And turn the camera around here. First one is a little bit of a glare there. Blood from the Mummy's Tomb. I got this one because it is a shout factory, scream factory, and it is a hammer film. I haven't seen it yet. It's one I want to see. Then, Scared Stiff, an 80s movie, and it's an Arrow release. So that actually uh, appealed to me right away. I wanted to get some um, martial arts uh, films today, and I did end up getting a couple. I don't have a 3D player, but this is a Blu-ray also, and it was used, and it was cheap enough. Flying Swords of Dragon Gate with Jet Li, so that looks like it might be all right. We got The Last Rites of, well, who's that, Ransom Pride. It's a Western. I've been wanting to get this Western. I wanted to pick up a Western, too. It's like my second favorite genre, actually, are Western films. So I always like to get at least one that I haven't seen before. This is a, a foreign film. This is a, from Israel, a war film from 2000. I was surprised I didn't have it already. But I had my... Um, uh, DVD profiler online now so I could look up and see if I had it or not and um, actually prevent myself from uh, picking up doubles only took me what about 20 years to figure that one out and then we have my samurai this is the other uh, sort of martial arts film I picked up but look at the cast I have Mako, Bubba Smith and Terry O'Quinn I mean that's a pretty good cast right there and this is a, an older film um, and I love that packaging please be kind be kind please rewind and made it look like an old sort of video title or video packaging repo the genetic opera I picked this one up because we're doing horror musicals on land of the creeps and I wanted to I haven't seen this one yet and it was used or not used but it was like under seven bucks so I figured yeah what the heck let's give it a try and actually while I was checking out the cashier she said that uh, she really loves this movie. She, uh, she picked it up herself and she's a big fan of it. So looking forward to that. These next two are ones that the only two movies that I came in here wanting to get because I knew I didn't have them and I knew FYE would have them both used. The Meg and Super Troopers. I wanted them both because I, haven't ha I don't have them and I knew they would have them uh, used. Now, these last four are something I do every year. I pick up random horror films where I do it sort of the old-fashioned way. I look at the cover or read, you know, a little bit about the movie and pick it up that way sort of blind. I don't know anything about any of these titles. They could all suck. Maybe just some of them suck. Maybe they're all great. I don't know. I don't necessarily want comments telling me whether they suck or not. I'll find it on my own. Uh, one in particular I'm a little worried about. It's the last one I'm going to show you, but it's just one I, I just couldn't pass it up. Welcome to Mercy, that is. And it's IFC, and I, I usually like what, what they put out. Then we have some a couple eight films to die for from the After Dark Horror Fest, Slaughter. And The Graves. Again, I sort of picked these up based on um, description uh, and whatnot. And here's the last one. Bigfoot, The Lost Coast Tapes. The only two quotes on here are by people from uh, a show on Animal Planet, so I'm not too hopeful. But anyway, those are the movies uh, for my 2019 shopping spree so far. I probably will end up with more before the day is out, but wanted to share them as I got them.